Hi, this is Shane. Welcome to Christian Labor. Please do like, subscribe, comment, uh, hit the donate button, or click on some of the ads. Hope you enjoy the show. Thanks. Hey, it's, uh, depends on the time of the day what the light looks like in here. Um, I told myself I needed to do one video a day. Uh, today has been a lot of time spent trying to figure out what I'm going to do about the gay marriage and the gay and lesbian, bisexual, transsexual, queer movement. Um, it is an issue that goes back so much farther than you would think. Um, like a lot of Americans, I grew up kind of thinking, why, why do I care what you do in your bedroom? And when I was a young Christian and reading the Bible, um, I didn't read the Bible through until I was in my mid-20s. Um, but even as a young Christian in my teens, I was aware of some fairly stiff <laughs> penalties in the Bible for <laughs> sexual sins. I, I didn't lean out for it. Divorce is commonplace by the time I'm a young man. Um, cheating on a spouse, why would you have a death penalty. Why would you have a death penalty for homosexuality? Um, it's really not until really just this year that it begins to come clear that what the Bible says about sexual sins in general um, we're not supposed to judge people's souls. We're not. Um, we are supposed to judge behavior. Which is odd. You always hear, you know, judge not lest you be judged, and by what measure you judge, you will be judged. And so we believe that we shouldn't judge right from wrong at all, almost, in some sense. Um, and then one day you wake up and you realize that if you don't cater a homosexual's wedding, you could be sued out of business. And then you realize what the Bible means by don't judge, is don't, don't judge a person's heart, mind, soul, but the Bible also says you shall know them by their fruit. And when it says that, it's talking about Christians, but you can expand that out, you, you know, uh, and then and the Bible does. It says, you know, a good tree doesn't bear bad fruit, and a bad tree doesn't bear good fruit, and and so... You have to look at these things in terms of, you know, what fruit does this behavior bear? Um, why things like this should be illegal? The same reason why we have laws against speeding. The same reason we have laws against spitting in the bus. The same reason we have laws against playing your music really loud in the middle of the night. There are certain things that you just don't get to do. It's not whether they hurt or kill or maim or, or cause lasting damage, it is a an expression of whether you have any respect whatsoever for other people's lives and welfare and just their general experience of life. And I'm thinking that if there were any such thing as a gay and lesbian, bisexual, transsexual, and queer lifestyle that did not reach out and attempt to destroy other people's lives, that would be great. But I think what we begin to find is that those kinds of behaviors don't stop there. You do not promote bizarre sexual behaviors to children or, or promote the idea that people who are deeply immersed in bizarre sexual behavior should be given children to raise, even though they cannot possibly have any children of their own, because they can't bring themselves to have sexual relations with the correct gender to do this. You don't give such people the moniker of family, of marriage. I don't see where the hate is here, and in point of fact, I am exhausted being accused of hatefulness when the only thing in the world I'm trying to figure out is how to be decent. 
I come from a broken family. You can't tell me that it doesn't matter because I have read I can't even count how many studies about broken families, heterosexual broken families. And then the studies that purport to say homosexual fam families, especially lesbian families, somehow magically are going to be better for kids. No. No, they're not. No. <laughs> no, they're not. Um, these studies, most of them suffer from tiny sample sizes. All, all of them, including the ones that support my viewpoint, have difficulties getting any sort of complete and scientific T you know, sort of the total picture, you know, the total, you got, you got to have your control group and all of these things, none of them are reliable. Um, but the problem with the ones promoting homosexuality is, is there are a ton of reliable studies about marriage, family, need for a mother, need for a father. These things are not mysteries. These things go back thousands of years. These things have roots in sociology going back as far as you care to look. Um, and so that's, you know, I have the information. I do not yet have it organized. But that's what I've been thinking about today, is like, how am I going to present? Because this, you know, the, the idea is, oh, well, you know, it's, it's civil rights. It's, it's, be nice. Be nice. Just, just, just shut up and be nice. And it's because many of us have just kind of, you know, like I did when I was younger. It's like, who cares? Well, now you know <laughs> why you should have cared. Um, so that's what I've been looking at today. And uh, we'll see what I, can, what I can upload tomorrow. But my plan is basically a video a day, Monday through Friday, take the weekends off. Uh, and that's my plan. And that's the video for today. Pray for us. Again, like, subscribe, comment. There is a um, donation button on my home page of YouTube. And it's not the YouTube donate button. It is actually uh, up on the banner. So if you care to do that, that'd be great. Um, but otherwise, click on the ads. Um, say hello to us. Take care. Uh, hope life treats you well. Bye-bye. Once again, this is Shane with Christian Labor. Hope you enjoyed the show. Please do like, comment, subscribe, donate, or click on some ads. We could sure use the money. Appreciate you. Take care.